So I want to talk about the New Orleans Saints linebacker, man, number 20 from The Ohio State University, man, Pete Warner, dude. And the thing about this dude, well, it's like I put the film on. I wasn't even trying to watch him play for real, for real. I was just bored, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me put the film on, uh, let me watch Marshawn Lattimore, because everybody know me. I'm I'm the biggest Marshawn Lattimore for, um, fan in the universe, right? But then all of a sudden, I just saw this white boy with the big-ass arms, like, Big ass biceps all over the field, like just just smashing cats, making plays. I'm like, whoa! First of all, who the hell is this dude weighing number twenty, dog, with the big ass fucking arms? Like he just been doing curls and biceps all down in the weight room, dog. And one thing I was looking at, this dude never missed a damn tackle, dog. Never missed a damn tackle, man. The second round draft pick from the Ohio State University is a man child, dog. Like, honestly, you put on films, I think I don't know what the pro football focus stats is, but I guarantee this dude hasn't missed more than two or three tackles like his whole life, like ever. He ain't never missed more than two or three tackles his whole entire life, dog. But one thing that makes this kid special and what's going to make him an elite player in this game, right? Bro, look at him. Just every time he gets his hand to you, man, because he does arm curls, biceps, and shit. Look at his arm, man. Look at his motherfucker's arms, dog. Pause, man. I ain't going to be talking about another man's arms, but shit. This shit is distracting, dog. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But one thing about this kid that's really going to take him to the next level, bro, for real, for real. Look at this. He just disengaged. He like 67. Come out of here, man. He's like, just get out of here, dog. I got shit to do, man. 67 is all in my way, man. I got shit to do. You just threw this man out the way. Throw him out the way and go make a play. Go make a play. Boom. Never miss a tackle, man. Big ass arms. Pete Warner, dog. Big ass arm Warner, dog. But what makes him special, bro? And what's going to make him an all-pro and uh, he's going to make himself a lot of money in this league and be an elite linebacker in this league, he's probably the best coverage linebacker, dog. I mean, take it back. He's the second best coverage linebacker behind Matt Milano, but not by no far stretch, dog. By the end of this season, Matt Milano, you better watch out, dog. This dude right here, first of all, look at him. You see how to just in, 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 insert? He's like, yo, I got Dalvin Cook, man. He points to Dalvin Cook. He like, I got him, man, oh, man. Bro, you see, this man is out here in the in, in no man's zone. For a linebacker to be out here, dog, it's like a shark being in the jungle, dog. It's like a lion being in the ocean. You don't see shit like that, dog. But for some reason, this dude is comfortable in this situation, man. He's one of those one of those animals that's comfortable in land, sea, and air, dog. I don't even know who they are, but he's comfortable, dog, like a crab or something, dog. Look, he's like, I got him, I got him, and then boom, man, look at this. This is Dalvin Cook's son running across the field like y'all's fucking. Hey, are y'all watching this shit, dog? Are y'all watching this shit? This man is Dalvin Cook, man, from the other hash all the way across the field. Look at all this space, dog. All this space. And this dude is a linebacker. Beat Warner just came out there and made a play like a DB, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. That shit is fucking impressive, dog. The degree of difficulty, dog. The degree of difficulty this play is. If y'all never play football, you have no clue, dog. Look at this space right here. This is Dalvin Cook, bro. Dalvin Cook be cooking cats, boy. He be cooking cats, boy. Now look at his big ass arms. Big, strong, big ass arms coming at him. Coming at him and boom. I'm telling you, I ain't never seen Pete Warner miss a tackle in Ohio State. I ain't never seen Mr. Tackle in Pee Wee. This man don't miss. I don't think he ever missed a tackle in his life, dog. And look at his coverage ability, dog. The degree of difficult. Matt Milano better watch out, dog. Because Pete is coming for that work, for that crown as the best coverage linebacker in the league, dog. The best coverage linebacker in not only in the league, the universe. Like, he's just freaking amazing in coverage, dog. And then he don't miss tackles. Like, this dude has everything it takes to be an elite linebacker and to be one of the top three, four linebackers in this fucking league, dog. I'm so impressed with Pete Warner, dog. Like, I have to let the world know, bro. I have to let the world look at him like I told you. Look at his big old arm. Like, look at this. You can see veins coming out of here, dog. You can see veins coming out of his big ass arms and boom. Once he get his hands on you, it's like a father, dog. You know what I'm saying? When a father get his hands on you, your ass is going, you're going to you gonna feel the pain, dog. Just what I want everybody to know, dog. This dude right here, Pete Warner, is the truth, man. And he's my spotlight player of the week for this week, dog. He had a fucking game against the Minnesota freaking Vikings, man. You all know the drill, man. I'm the G to the U to the R to the U. Look at this dude, man. He's just, look, I can't even finish this damn video. He's over there just taking on a uh, tackle, taking on fullback, just causing a, just, just causing chaos, man. And that's the definition of Pete freaking Warner, man. If y'all don't know about this guy, y'all better recognize because this dude is a freaking beast. And I'm the beast of this film game, baby. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.